It scares the crap out of me having it in my garage every day. What's going on guys? Danny Lanier Lawn Care and today we're going to answer some comments uh, on the old Ultima ZT1 video I posted uh, three weeks to a month ago somewhere on in that and we're going to give you the update on some things that we've found out since that video and why you should probably stay away from this mower. Let's jump right into it. guys so I've had a lot of comments on the video that I posted about three weeks to a month ago on this mower and the vibration issues and things like that uh, so we're going to answer some of these questions um, for one guys uh, please go back and look at my channel I do not own a Cub Cadet mower anymore I did start with a Cub Cadet residential zero turn mower a 2015 uh, ZTR 50 to be exact and then I had a Cub Cadet 33 inch that I used and a Cub Cadet push mower. So uh, I have nothing against Cub Cadet mowers whatsoever. This is what started my business. Uh, secondly, uh, the blades were balanced prior to showing y'all the deck vibration. So balancing is not an issue. It had nothing to do with blades and the blades being balanced. They were sharpened and balanced prior to making the last video. So uh, that's out of the way. Um, any other comments you have, let me know what you think could be going on with this uh, bad vibration issue that this has. It could just be that it's a stamp deck. I'm not really for sure what's going on with it. I know people who have fabricated decks that have the exact same issue. If you're a homeowner, you probably shouldn't comment that you don't have any vibration issues because more than likely, you've never run an actual uh, commercial mower to know that you have bad vibration issues on your residential mower. So uh, let's get that out of the way. Um, so we're gonna jump right into this, guys. We're gonna tell you a little bit about this, what happened after uh, we made that last video. And so less than two weeks after that video was made, this mower caught on fire. Yes, it caught on fire in the garage with nobody touching it. So uh, we're gonna get into that. We're gonna bring the actual owner of this mower in. Let her tell you exactly what happened on that. All right, guys, this is Katrina with Viking Lawn Care. And this is the mower she decided to purchase to start her lawn care company. Why? Because, well, let's get something straight. Um, I started with a Cub Cadet residential mower. You can use residential mowers to start your company this is the budget she had. This is the mower she went for. So uh, Katrina, tell us a little bit about your, you're standing in your garage one day doing something and all of a sudden the mower just catches fire. Yeah, I, st I smell something and it smells like wires burning and I can't figure out where it's coming from. And so I turned around and there's smoke coming from the Cub Cadet. So I lifted this up and there was just flames shooting up from the battery. You can still see where it was charred. So I, I threw it into... So you can tell they clean this up some yeah. um, to get most of that burnt off. But uh, so, okay, so how did you put the fire out? Well, I threw it in neutral really quick and rolled it out of my garage. And then I just used a towel and I just patted it out with a towel. So she's inside her garage, luckily, to catch this fire that started with nobody touching this mower. So uh, <clears throat> another issue you said you've been having with this is when you go to uh, start it up, you start it up in the mornings, you go to back up, it will not back up. You have to go forward first and then it will back up. Correct, but it's not just in the mornings, it's throughout the day too. Even if I have 10 lawns that day, I'll get on the trailer and I'll try and push it forward and it won't go or I'll try and push it backwards, sorry it won't go. And so I'll have to push it forward a little bit and then go backwards. So guys, what do you think's going on with that? This mower only has, what's it got on it now? Uh, well, let's I think find it's out. like 42. <laughs> okay, so it has around 42 hours on it. Caught fire at around 36 hours. When we did our review, it was at 34, 33, 34 hours. Yeah. So uh, literally less than a week and a half 
after the last video, this thing caught fire. And the only thing they could tell her was, uh, well, they really couldn't tell her anything of yeah. what caused the issue. They just said that they replaced all the wiring harness and they replaced the uh, the battery and put all new wires and stuff like that on there. So uh, now she keeps the battery completely unhooked every day when she brings it home. And so that way you don't have to worry about a fire starting in your house when you're not at home. All right guys, so we're gonna talk cut quality now. Um, so you've had this mower for around three months. Mm -hmm. uh, what would you say cut quality wise is it does it cut all right um let's say you do a weekly property every week uh do you fly through it one one cut you're going kind of slow uh what's your speed let's talk about that first i the, while the speed of the machine is pretty pretty good uh i have to go slow or i have to double cut so um it leaves it's it says it's a 42 inch cut but i don't think it is because i have to i have to go back over my line on the right side so it is leaving stragglers or uncut grass yeah um even on a weekly property yes. which is not so it's that is not, not tall it. grass whatsoever mm -hmm. um so grass disbursement does it disperse the grass pretty good it does it it, it clumps it together in a line so it okay so it throws clumps yeah so unlike my my residential mower guys had a stamp deck as well and it clumped real bad uh, but my Cup Cadet 33 inch mower that I had, that thing would go through some tall grass and would never clump. It would sling the grass right out. So I figured that would be something that, you know, um, even being a homeowner model, guys, this is things that you should not have to worry about. Uh, let's talk price real quick. What did you pay for this mower? I think it was right at four. Right at 4,000? Yeah. Oh, wow. Wait, so, it could be three. Right at 3,000. 3,000 sounds better. <laughs> yeah. So right at $3,000, uh, you have to double cut everything, even if it was, and that's going slow, you said, uh -huh. even on a weekly property. The deck is fine, of course. They they checked all this stuff whenever it was in the shop for catching on fire. So uh, leave your comments to yourself. That has nothing to do with it. <laughs> um, spindles are fine. Nothing to do with it. Blades, I'm sure, are balanced. Nothing to do with it. Uh, so guys, if you have any suggestions on what could be causing this, um, comment, let us know. So uh, cut quality's crap. Uh, <laughs> it's got fast speed, but you really can't do that, which we discussed in the last video. And uh, not only has it caught fire, but hydro issues are coming into play now yeah. as well. All right, guys, there you go. It's, uh, it's gonna be a rough ride, I, I think. So what's your plans with this mower? Well, I'm gonna have to keep it through the season because you know I'm not getting rich quick with all this rain. But um, as soon as I can get another one, I'll be replacing it. Um, hopefully the ZT2s are a better mower. They're an upgrade to the ZT1, of course. So maybe look into the ZT2. But as far as the ZT1s go, guys, I absolutely loved my Cup Cadet residential mower that I started my company with. Once again, it got me to where I am today. Uh, and you know what, this is just, I would have to say a huge downgrade disappointment to their older models. So uh, <clears throat> with you knowing what you know now, uh, would you buy this mower again? No. Even, even if you were a residential, if this was for your personal lawn, would you purchase this mower? No, while I love how it, how it drives and how easy it is to maneuver. It scares the crap out of me having it in my garage every day. And it just, it seems to be deteriorating quickly. I know that it's a residential mower and I'm using it far more than, than a right. normal homeowner. Now let's get this straight. She is not some big, huge lawn care company. She it's just, just me. she just started her <laughs> company this year. It's just her. Uh, once again, she bought this mower, what, March? And it's, it's now the end of may almost and it only has 42 hours so that tells you she's really not using it as much as you would think uh when you think of commercial business so um so residential use you would not even recommend this to a resident no it's too scary and it's falling apart too far too quickly spend your money on something that's gonna last so there you go guys you heard it straight from the horse's mouth 
she is the owner of this mower. She is the one that has ran this mower the most. Um, I've had some time with this mower as well, hence the reason why I did the review. But, um, you know, it is what it is. I'm not sure. Y'all let me know what you think could be the issue with the hydros not wanting to go backwards. You have to go forward first and then back up. But uh, the mower has caught fire and is apparently going to crap very quickly with only 42 hours. So uh, how many how many year warranty does they give you on this? I think it was a two year warranty. <laughs> so two year warranty. Luckily, you still got plenty of time for that warranty. So guys, if you have any comments, comment down below. Let me know uh, how you feel. I know a lot of people have commented they have the ZT1. They mow hills and they mow acreage and they do this and they do that. Guys, I never said in the last video you couldn't do those things or this mower would not do those things. I simply said, according to Cub Cadet, it is not meant for them things. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Hopefully this helps you with your decision on the Cub Cadet. I'm not sure about the ZT2 model. Hopefully it's a better model than what the ZT1 is because there's a lot of people I know that's had issues with the ZT1. I know you see a lot of reviews out there from other lawn care companies. Please keep in mind that them reviews are sponsored reviews. Most of them people got that mower absolutely free to do that review. So you're not gonna get the honest feedback that a lot of these companies should be giving you because they're under contract, which is probably a good reason why I don't get reached out to a lot because I'm the honest channel. So thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe. See you soon.